The Mobile County Public Schools presents Homeroom. Hi, and welcome to Homeroom, where we introduce you to the educators and the students who make Mobile County Public Schools the best schools in the state of Alabama. I am your host, Renee Phillips, and today I'm going to introduce you to the members of the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners. Now, these five dedicated people represent their district. They serve six-year terms, and they're out and about in their communities. And joining me now is the president of the board, Sherry McDade. Good morning. Good morning. And so tell us, you're District 3? District 4. District 4. Sorry District about that. <laughs> you're District yeah. 4. And that's where you actually taught. Like you were teaching at LaFleur and now you're representing the district. Yes. Um, I taught at Booker T. Washington for five years and I taught at LaFleur for 30. So District 4 has a special place in my heart. What's it been like making that transition from the classroom to the board? It's been a simple fix. I'm very blessed to be uh, Commissioner for District 4. I have a lot of my former students that serve as administrators mm -hmm. as well as teachers, coaches in District 4. So it's like a family. So it's a family to me because when I visit their campus, I can see what they're doing and the positive, um, their positive response of the things that they're doing on that campus. Now your family has grown because I see you out and about in the different <laughs> schools of your district and you do, you like to visit with oh. them and congratulate them when they do things well. Oh, oh great. You know, um, when I ran for school board commissioner, I wanted to be a visible commissioner. I wanted to be able to go into the schools and let them know who I was and what I, that they had a relationship with me. Not only with the principal, the teachers, but also the custodial staff, the cafeteria people, and the people that keep our schools clean. Mm -hmm. So it, it's been a, a very great relationship. They tell me all the time that they love seeing me on that campus. Mm -hmm. uh, I love going to elementary schools because they have lunch, they have great lunches feeding <laughs> our children, and I want to commend the cafeteria staff for doing a job well done on that. And I think, too, you want to let them know that the board supports them. Oh, right? of course, of course. We don't feel as, District 4 do not want to feel as though they're the stepchildren of Mobile County Public School System, mm -hmm. and they are really enjoying the me being their commissioner. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to visit my schools at least twice a month. Uh, being retired, I, I'm able to do that. So I walk on the campus, just take a, a quick view, talk to students, and enjoy w what, what's going on on that campus. Mm -hmm. And is there anything that you've been able to do on the board that you're particularly proud of? I'm very proud of the idea of bringing stadiums to our campus. Mm -hmm. um, serving as the female athletic director at LaFleur High School, the opportunity to bring and generate Revenue for our schools has been a. It's going to be very, very positive. Mm -hmm. uh, we have non-revenue gathering sports teams from that's in the inner city that can't fund their programs. But mm -hmm. being having a stadium on campus, we're able to do that, just like the schools in the county. Right, and it's equity. It's allowing equity. them to a make money to support football and other sports yes. instead of losing money by renting. Right, right, right. and you know, it, our stadium is a community stadium. Because we have, uh, we're right in the heart of Tomlinville. Mm -hmm. our, uh, our kids are able to play at the park next door to our stadium. Uh, BC Rain, I visited their campus on Friday night for their football game, and they won. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was a great feeling. We're just walking in the stadium and going in the stands, I saw alumni from uh, way back. They had grins on their face. People mm -hmm. that's part of the community, they were there. Uh, so it, it's a great time for District 4. And then Williamson, we did the groundbreaking, oh, so they'll yeah. be getting there soon. Yeah, they'll be getting there there's very, very soon. Uh, we had the bid offers. The bid offers were out there, so hopefully we will be able to get a bid for, for one of the contractors and go ahead and build uh, their stadium. And then er I think everything will be great. Mm -hmm. I'm representing Tumbleville, Maysville, down the bay, uh, Dolphin Island Parkway. You have quite a diverse group um, of I communities. I have a very diverse group. But, you know, when we all come together, we're just one big family. That's right. And do you have any goals for the board over the uh, next couple of years? The goal for the board is to keep up with the con uh, the consistency that we have. We have we have a very cohesive board, and we work very well together. I can reach out to any of my board members if I'm having some issues or concerns, and they're able to, they're able to help me address those issues. Mm -hmm. And that is so important. That's very, very important in our district. So thank you so much for everything that you do as a board member and as president of the board. Thank you, and thank you for everything, Renee. You keep us on our toes <laughs> and making sure that we get everything that's positive uh, 
going out in our in our neighborhoods and in our community and in our district. So we appreciate what you and Mobile County Public Schools uh, for uh, videography and MCPSS TV, produ TV, TV yes. production is doing because you guys are doing a, a fantastic job. Thank you. We love to feature our students and yes. our teachers. So we have to break for commercial and when we come back I'll introduce you to the Vice President of the School Board, Mr. Don Stringfellow. So stay tuned for Homeroom. Thank you. You're welcome. Ayla, hi. Oh, hi, Sierra. How are you? Good. How are things? Things couldn't be better. What do you mean? Well, I just started this new job as a school teacher with the Mobile County Public Schools, and it has been a life changer. Great benefits, the hours are great, and great students. Just the overall, it's a great opportunity. Oh, wow. That sounds great. Yeah. I'm going to look into that. You should. For more information, visit mcpss.com slash job opportunities. Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today I'm introducing you to the members of the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners. And joining me now, I have the Vice President, Mr. Don Stringfellow, and your district is District 2. That's correct. So tell us about your district. Well, it's a very diverse district. I cover all the way from Spring Hill, West Mobile, uh, up to Tillman's Corner, and all the way to Dolphin Island, strangely enough. So it covers a Pretty broad area. And that's a fun school to visit down there. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's a great school, the Little Red Schoolhouse. Yeah, to go to school on the beach. Oh, man. And you come to the board from the classroom. You were a longtime educator in Mobile County Public Schools, a teacher, a principal. So what's that been like, spending so much time in Mobile County Public Schools? Well, this is my 50th year in education. I started out as a teacher, obviously, in 1973. And then I became a assistant principal, and then a principal multiple times over, and then the central office. And then um, I retired and decided to run for the school board, and this was my second term. So, you know, I, I am an educator at heart, and that's uh, that's what I my interest is. Mm -hmm. And you bring that to the table, that academic focus. Right? One of the one of the things that uh, has been beneficial is that um, most of the things that come before the board, I have a little bit of knowledge about it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, facilities and stuff are really important. Um, and I'm lucky to have members of our board that uh, know an awful lot about it and stuff. And I'm glad for stadiums and new buildings. And all of that's really important because that's part of it. But we are a learning institution. Mm -hmm. And it's really important that uh, we concentrate on that so that our kids graduate and, you know, Mobile County, I believe this in my heart of hearts, that the health of our county, our area here, is dependent upon our public school system. Mm -hmm. That's definitely and what I want, my ultimate goal is, I want parents to think of Mobile County and the schools that are here as their first choice. Mm -hmm. And you have to do to do that. There are a lot of things that have to happen with our teaching staff and our administrators and our parents because mm -hmm. we can't do it all by ourselves like that. That's what all the research shows like that. Mm -hmm. And so my goal as a board member has been to really work toward ramping up academics because that's real important. And also school security mm -hmm. is important also because. If you don't have those things like that, then you don't really have a chance to do your job well. Right, and you're really good at recognizing your schools, your teachers, your students for their accomplishments. I think that's extremely important. Every time that our students or our teachers or administrators do something, um, I mean, all of our board members do that, but in mine, I want to make sure they're recognized for it because they go above and beyond mm -hmm. and, and they need to be recognized. And what happens is, is that for students in particular, years later, they look back upon those accomplishments as something that's really important to them. Mm -hmm. And um, the same thing for our teachers because uh, we want a good teaching staff. And when you recognize good people, it's like when I was an administrator, when you got good teachers, you get out of the way and you let them do their job mm -hmm. like that. And all of the uh, accolades that go with it go to them. Right. And I would like to say that uh, I'm proud of all of our uh, employees in the system. And that covers bus drivers to the CMP staff and, and uh, 
our janitorial staff because all of those are tied together mm -hmm. what what they have to do because uh, uh, they all make a difference it really takes a village and I know you were a former principal yes. and I'm always impressed with our principals as well aren't you with what yes, they're able to do in their well, buildings? Well it's real important that we put the right person in at the right place like mm -hmm. that because that makes a big difference like that and I think the one fundamental thing that an administrator can do, the biggest impact they can make is if they as an administrator hire good people mm -hmm. and recognize talent and uh, and hold on to them and nurture them and so forth and then they'll do an outstanding job and it makes our system better mm -hmm. because I, like I said again I want ultimately the parents in our district to consider uh, our public schools first before they think of any other choice and if we can get to that point we we know we've done a good right. job right because we are all big believers in our public schools yeah, they're doing absolutely. a great job that's mm -hmm. absolutely the truth well thank you for everything that you've done on the board and during your 50 years at mobile county we look forward to 50 more years right <laughs> <I> <laughs> hope so. so we have to break for commercial and when we come back i'll introduce you to mr harwell who serves on the board of school commissioners so stay tuned for homework There's a lot to like about Mobile County Public Schools. What I enjoy about Mobile County School is the extra attention my teachers give us to help us learn. Teachers are liking their access to technology and students are liking the quality of their education. I like the technology that's been incorporated into my education. And since 1826, you have trusted us to prepare your child for their future and we like that. Mobile County Public Schools, we are learning today, leading tomorrow. Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today I'm introducing you to the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners, and now I have Mr. Doug Harwell, who represents District 1. Mm -hmm. tell, us what is, tell us about your district. It's Citronelle, yep. Sims. Yep, so you start out in my district is of the north part of the county at Citronelle, and it kind of comes down towards Airport Boulevard, you know, Moffett Road, down through Sims, and then it'll uh, go back and catch Collier and mm -hmm. uh, Taylor White, Tanner Williams, that area, then it goes down and uh, catches O'Rourke. So, so it's, you, it's, a big, it's, a, it's a large area. You have some of the biggest schools and some of the smallest. I do, <laughs> yeah. It's, so all, what, it's always interesting. What have you learned in your years on the board about the school system and the people? Wow, a lot. <laughs> yeah. You know, serving as a school board member, if you go back and read about being a school board member, it's, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot of uh, voluntary time, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do get a little little pay, but but you you do it for the right reason. I think I, I think all my board members I serve with, we do it for the right reason. That's the children, mm -hmm. and the, and the school system, and you know, the, and support you know Mr. Threadgill and his staff, and and I, I think if we do it for the right reason, we we do a good job, and that's to to care about the kids, you know, and to to love them. So. Yeah. You're definitely putting in the hours, you're visiting mm -hmm. the schools and getting to know everybody. Right. You know, and, and me personally, being at the ballpark for, uh, I think I was at the ballpark for seven years and being around kids all the time, just kind of one of those things that was really good. I love to be around kids, uh, you know, and, and, and help them the best we can and, and help God lead them. So it's, school board members, uh, it's a great thing for you personally. And it helps you get to know the community really well. Right, right. And in and, 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 and my case, it's, it's very diverse. I mean, you know, today's time that we live in, the, uh, the, it's changed a lot out in, in the Sims and Centronelle and, and down and uh, like all the way down to Rourke. It's, it's, it's been good. It's been a very, it was a learning curve for me mm -hmm. uh, to, to learn more about, you know, education. Mm -hmm. You know, the business part and, and construction and stuff like that, I understood, but just the education part to me is, uh, I've learned a lot. I do know this, I always tell this, uh, reading is success. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, what the state's doing with reading on the education side, this is gonna be really good for our, our community in a whole. Yeah, so. the Literacy Act, yeah. and then we're doing the literacy yeah. camps to get yeah. students up to their level they need to be. And I know one thing that we've been talking about as a board is school security and how that's changed over the years. Oh yeah, so you know, going back and looking at that and and um, and, and listening to the, uh, you know Dr. Crenshaw talk about that a little bit, but we we have tried. It's been a three or four year process, maybe three years, when we were trying to get our resources, resource resource officers armed, and. Um, you know, we, we had to go through some hurdles, and, and we, we had the opportunity with Mr. Gatewood to go to Montgomery and, and talk to some people about 
you know, making that happen for Mobile County because our, our resource officers are very trained uh, former police officers, but to put those, uh, to get them the, the guns back, uh, they would have to have some A-post training, mm -hmm. uh, which was, uh, meant they had to leave and do things. So, you know, this is the best of both worlds for Mobile County Public Schools, where we have a, we have a sheriff there at our, at our schools and we have our resource officers mm -hmm. at our schools. And uh, you're right, safety's changed over the years. I, I, I you know, going back and reading, and um, I know people don't, you know, another aspect of this is back in 1962 and 63 when they, they changed, to, you know, how, you know, God in schools. Uh, you can still pray in schools. People get confused. You still can, but the way it has to happen is a little bit different. And, and what we've seen in, in public education and, and school building since that time is, you know, increase of everything. You know, shootings in schools and all kinds of problems, and, and in our community. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I was reading the other day. Since that point, we had the divorce rates up 300 percent. So, every aspect of that is is, is led to where we're at with safety right now. Mm -hmm. And I would say this, uh, just just about that, having the sheriff there at the at the campus, and having the county as part of that, the sheriff's department, the school system, and uh, and in my district, our our local uh, police department. Mm -hmm. The city of Sims and Centronel uh, working together, and what and and this is a big benefit to me. And not only have our schools saved another layer of that, but having those relationships with our with our children. Right. So when they see this this sheriff in their school, he's not their enemy. He's right. their friend. And and I was that's why I was telling some people earlier today. It's going to build some relationships so that they know they can trust them and believe in them. And they can come to them come if they have them. a problem or if that's they just right. want to talk so, to them. So I hopefully. Mm -hmm. This is just another piece of the puzzle as we get Mobile County as a whole safe. Right. So. Well, thank you for everything that you are doing on the board yeah. and in, out in your community as well. We have to break for commercial, and when we come back, I'll introduce you to more of the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners. So stay tuned for Homeroom. As a student in the Mobile County Public Schools, there are a few things I've come to expect. One is a quality education and the other is a quality lunch. Not only are our school meals well balanced, meeting all federal nutritional standards, but they also have less fat, fewer calories, and they taste really good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, our school lunches contain whole wheat, grains, fruits, and vegetables to give me the energy and brain power to get me through the day. Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today I'm introducing you to the members of the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners who are elected to serve their districts. So joining me, I have Dr. Reginald Crenshaw, and you're the veteran on the board. You've been there since 2008. Since 2008, and enjoyed uh, all the years on the board. And your district is District 3. That's correct. So district tell us three. about your district. Well, District 3 is the largest geographical district of all of them. Uh, my district covers uh, as, far as, go as far as Mount Vernon, uh, and also, uh, you know, up the University of South Alabama area, uh, the northern part of the county. Okay. And so what's it been like representing District 3? Have you, have you been able to accomplish a lot? I, I think so. A lot of challenges. Uh, one of the, the greatest uh, accomplishments was the uh, construction of new facilities, not just the football stadium, but new schools, new wings. Uh, when I first got on the board, the, the uh, facilities were deplorable. And at that time, the, the board said, let's go in and spend the bond money mm -hmm. where it was most needed, and it was in the inner city schools. So I, I commend my board members at the time who was on the board for going along with putting the money where it's best needed. And I uh, remember that. I was a reporter back then, and you had the $100 million. That's correct. That's correct, yeah. invested it all over the county and in District 3. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Uh, in fact, at the time, it was Reverend, the late Reverend Manzi and myself, and, and uh, we was able to convince the board that, Let's put the money where it's needed. And there was no argument or whatnot. I said, yes, mm -hmm. let's do it. Very interesting, Miss Pete, we did the bus tour of all of the mm -hmm. schools that needed to be renovated. And we concluded uh, those one that needs to help the most, uh, got the most funds. Right. And so since that time, you've done some more construction projects, most recently the stadiums. Yes. What, what has that done for those communities? I think it has done tremendous uh, um, for this community in terms of uh, uh, pride in the community uh, and especially economic impact. For example, this past Saturday, uh, it was told to me that we had uh, uh, close to 12,000 fans, approximately $92,000 in income, and that's not counting the walk up pays. So uh, uh, that was enough funds to fund all other sports 
at Viagra High School for the rest of the year. So contrary to the initial uh, uh, pushback I got from mm -hmm. some of the Viagra supporters, I, I think they're well pleased now. One, they won the game, and two, the economic impact, because that's, that's also what it's about, making sure right. that the funds are available to make sure our students get a quality education. And that's what Mr. Threadgill has said from the beginning, this is an equity issue, because before we would have paid to rent LAD or mm -hmm. paid to go to another school to play, mm -hmm. but now that's money in the bank for Viger. That's correct. And that support, say that again, every other sport for the whole year. That's correct, that's correct. Uh, you know, sports, non-generating uh, income sports like ba uh, baseball, mm -hmm. you know, tennis, golf, if that's there, that, that don't generate funds. But now right. the uh, football program on all of the camps, in my opinion, fund the other, other uh, uh, sporting events there. And the band, and, and they the operate band. the concession Yeah, they had a concession, which, mm -hmm. which uh, was tremendous. I yeah. mean, lines were long the entire time. So uh, it, it's about uh, making an economic impact. Mm -hmm. uh, not only on the community, but also for the schools, especially for the schools. And you've been big on school security. So yes, tell us about yes, some of the yes. measures that uh, you've been proud uh, of. About three or four years ago, we discussed the idea of having arm, it started with arm resource officers, which I did not support from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But in light of all of the recent uh, school massacres and whatnot, I, I, I totally reversed that. I felt like we need to have uh, armed either resource officer or arm law enforcement also from the local community and that's what we have on today we finalized a contract to hire uh, uh, a sheriff department officers to patrol what we call the hot schools mm -hmm. and you notice we haven't identified all those schools public because you don't tell all your security right uh, strategies you know just to the public but we feel like now that the, the faculty staff and students would be uh, be protected a little, little, more, little better now that we do have those individuals on the campus. So you feel you're, you're making it better in District 3? Very much so, very much mm -hmm. for District 3. And it's hard for me to just focus on District 3 because of the concern for the entire school system. But surely District 3 is where my concern is, or where I only have two high schools, mm -hmm. a lot of elementary schools and whatnot, and we have provided additional facilities and renovated the current facilities, again, where there's a greater teaching and learning environment. Uh, because you, you need an environment where the students feel one safe and uh, where they're motivated to learn mm -hmm. because without motivation before you begin to depart the knowledge on them you, it's not going to be successful. Tell me your line you like to say they have to know you care. Yeah people don't students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Mm -hmm. You know before you even start talking about your one through ten or ABC's you just got to let students know you know if you mm -hmm. see something on their face then you got to, you know how's your day what's wrong you got to mm -hmm. walk up to them and talk with them yes i know that's nothing in the in the, in the uh guide for for teaching skills but that's just something as a human being you got to kind of know and understand your students and let them know you care it matters so much Very well thank much so. you for everything you're doing on the school board thank we're going to break for commercial and when we come back we'll speak with the newest member of the mobile county board of school commissioners mr johnny hatcher so stay tuned when parents are involved in school you get more of this and less of this. Hi and welcome back to Homeroom. Today I'm introducing you to the members of the Mobile County Board of School Commissioners. And joining me now I have Mr. Johnny Hatcher. You're the newest board member representing District 5. So what's it been like coming onto the board? Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of what I thought it would be, um, some that I didn't think it would be. Um, the, you know, building relationships with the board members has been great. Everybody has worked well with me, went out of their way, with the exception of Crenshaw. He bullies me. <laughs> I've done a called bully blocker twice to get, to get nothing in, no help, no help. A little friendly bullying, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> no, he, Crenshaw's great, love him, mm -hmm. wonderful man. Uh, every time I've needed anything, I've been able to call him. Miss McDade, same thing, Don Stringfellow. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Doug and I have known each other a long time, so we have a relationship. Uh, but it's been great. It's, it's, uh, it's a diverse board that uh, everybody in their own right brings something to the table. They do. It's a very good board, I think, too. I think it is. Mm -hmm. And so, have there been any challenges since you've been on the board or anything different than what you expected? Absolutely. <laughs> but we won't get into that. <laughs> what, we, what we'll get into is the, the, the ability to work well with others mm -hmm. and accomplish goals. Mm -hmm. uh, bringing in security for our schools mm -hmm. was one of, my, one of my platforms. 
and I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm very proud of that. Uh, Doug Harwell, uh, I think years back, had explored doing this, and for mm -hmm. whatever reason, it just got, you know, kicked to the side. I don't think it was anything other than they just had so much going on. Right. You had COVID and everything else. Yeah. So kind of put it on the sidelines. But it was it was good to be a part of that and to help bring that to uh, fruition. Right. And it's been a, a continuous cycle of improvement on the security, wouldn't you say? I would agree. Getting better and better every year. Look, I don't mm -hmm. think anybody would argue that you don't want me teaching your children, but you definitely want me <laughs> running, you know, help run this system. Mm -hmm. uh, I bring a lot to the table, uh, construction. Mm -hmm. I've been, you know, most of my life, uh, I've, I've been in management for 20 years now. Um, I'm qualified to do what I do. I sit on other boards and it, it gave me what I needed to, to fit in real well. And it's good to get that perspective and to bring that to the board as it well. It is. You know, sometimes, and, and look, these guys do a great job, mm -hmm. but they, they have their lives of their own. And, and, you know, I'm fortunate to be able to get out there, Don Stringfellow as well. Don Stringfellow will go out there to them schools and he makes sure, I mean, he's out there all the time. Mm -hmm. My daughter attends one of his schools, mm -hmm. so I know how often he's there. He does a really good job, Miss McDade as well. Mm -hmm. And I learned from them, get out into the schools, learn your schools, learn, learn your constituents, mm -hmm. and do what's best for the parents, more importantly, for the children. So what have you learned about District 5, <laughs> being out there and about? Uh, football. <laughs> Everybody loves football. Yes. You know, do. I've got Bryant, I've got Baker, and i got Theodore. Mm -hmm. Bryant and Baker, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Theodore and Baker played Friday. Mm -hmm. I went to the Baker's pep rally and committed to be a Hornet on Friday night <laughs> at, their, at their stadium. And uh, mm -hmm. for the first half, I did really well. Mm -hmm. For the second half, I snuck over there to Theodore's side, and then by the third quarter, I had to leave due to illness. <laughs> I was sick of watching it. <laughs> <laughs> But in, it, it's also, it's the athletics, the, the sports, but also the academics. Are you getting in there too and learning about some of the great programs that we offer? And yes. Mm -hmm. I, you know what? I think we're doing really well with that. Mm -hmm. Our reading programs is outstanding. I think mm -hmm. that's very important. We're also doing the same thing with mathematics. Mm -hmm. And I think that is, you know, the fundamentals is where it's at. We've got to get back to that. Mm -hmm. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. That is important. Um, and you know, my my, lo my slogan was raise the bar. Mm -hmm. And, you know, unbeknownst to me, Mr. Threadgill was already doing that. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. The finest superintendent we could ever possibly get. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to bash any other superintendents, <laughs> but he is by far my favorite. He, he is outstanding. He um, does a great job. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if people knew what he did every week and the hard work he put in, uh, they would not question any dollar we pay him right. at all. It's no a dollar huge amount. system. It's a lot. So what are your goals for the future? to continue to work as much as I can because academics is not me, mm -hmm. uh, to support the academics and, and, and get these children better educated, uh, safer, and, by, and also, yeah, I've never hit it, I'm a proponent of bringing the paddle back. I've got the second largest high school in the state and the largest middle school in the state. Mm -hmm. We, we do need to make some adjustments to accommodate these children. It's important. Well, thank you for that, and thank you for everything that you do on the school board. We look forward to seeing you there for the duration of your term and beyond. Thank but you. We have to end our program now, but you can watch the Mobile County School Board meet uh, every month on MCPSS TV. We broadcast those meetings live, and you can find them on YouTube or our website. So um, be sure to watch that to stay involved and know what's happening in Mobile County Public Schools. That's all the time we have on Homeroom.